Chapter 10, The Basics of Capital Budgeting, Evaluating Cash Flows. The topics in this chapter include overview and vocabulary, methods, net present value or NPV, internal rate of return, IRR, or modified internal rate of return, MIRR, profitability index, payback and discounted payback, an equal lives, economic life, and optimal capital budget. What is capital budgeting? Capital budgeting is an analysis of potential projects. As long-term decisions, it involves large expenditures. Very important to form the future. Steps in capital budgeting. One, estimate cash flows, including inflows and outflows. Two, assess risk of cash flows. Three, determine R, which is WAC for project. Four, evaluate cash flows. Independent versus mutually exclusive projects. Projects are independent if the cash flows of one are affected by the acceptance of the other. Projects are mutually exclusive if the cash flows of one can be adversely or impact by the acceptance of the other. NPV method or net present value method is the sum of the present values of all cash flows, we can use the following formula. Cost often is cash flow zero, which is negative. Rationale for the net present value method. NPV equal to present value of all the inflows minus cost. This is net gain in wealth, so accept the project if NPV is greater than zero. Choose between mutually exclusive projects on basis of a higher positive NPV as most value. How is the IRR on a project related to the yield of a maturity? on a bond. IRR is the discount rate that forces the present value of a project's expected future cash flows to equal to the initial cash flow. Yield to maturity is the discount rate that forces the present value of a bond cash flows, for example, coupons and maturity value to equal the price of the bond. Rationale for the IRR method. If IRR is greater than required rate of return, then the project's rate of return is greater than its cost. Some return is left over to boost stockholders' returns. For example, required rate of return is 10% and IRR is 15%. So, this projects as extra returns to shareholders. Construct MPV profiles. Enter all the cash flows in CFLO and find MPV and different discount rate. 
The MPV file will be looks like the following picture. Typically, there will be a crossover point between the two projects, Project L and Project S. MPV and IRR, no conflict for independent projects. But for mutually exclusive projects, it might be conflict. When you're using MPV method and IRR method, it will be conflict when the required rate of return is less than the cross point, but no conflict when the required rate of return is greater than the cross point rate. To find the crossover rate, find the cash flow differences between the projects. Enter this difference in the CFLO register, then price IRR. You will find the crossover rate. If profiles don't cross, one project dominates the other. Two reasons NPV profiles cross. Size or scale differences. Small project frees up funds at time equal to zero for investment. The higher the opportunity cost, the more valuable this fund. So high required return return favors small projects. Two, timing differences. Project with faster payback provides more cash flow in early years for reinvestment. If required rate of return is high, early cash flow especially good. Modified internal rate of return. MIRR is the discount rate that causes the present value of a project terminal value to equal the present value of cost. Terminal value is defined by compounding inflows at WAC. Thus, MIRR assumes cash inflows are reinvested at WAC. Profitability Index The Profitability Index, PI, is the present value of future cash flows divided by the initial cost. It measures the bond of the buck. What is the payback period? Payback period is the number of years required to recover a project's cost? Or how long does it take to get the business's money back? Strengths and weaknesses of payback. Strengths provides an indication of a project's risk and liquidity. Easy to calculate and understand. Weaknesses ignores the time value of money, ignores cash flows occurring after the payback period. No specification of acceptable payback.